Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Allison and you are watching Fast Keto Life. Today is a day 10 check-in and also my measurements. So stay tuned. Okay, welcome back. Okay, so today we are gonna go over how I have been doing over this last 10 days of me tracking my weight and my measurements and focusing on the keto lifestyle. Actually, I'm doing high protein keto is what I'm focusing on. I'm prioritizing um, protein and also I'm counting the net carbs, not the total carbs. So it is so helpful. Um, and I just want to tell you, I feel so good. I feel like this is not super rigid and it is a good thing and all of the fun things. So I am personally like, I don't know. I just am feeling awesome. I'm not feeling like deprived or anything. Um, if I'm wanting a like a keto treat or whatever, I go and have my little Lily's peanut butter cup little treats or I have my Adkins peanut butter cups or those coconut bars and it is so helpful. So, um, and then of course I am drinking those ketones. Oh, I forgot to bring those in. Um, and that has just been so helpful. So I am feeling like I am on a very good track and I am just really feeling in control. Like, you know what I mean? Not Ooh, I'm not waiting for the other shoe to drop, basically. I am just feeling like in a really good spot and I am so excited to get all of my goals met. <laughs> so I'm gonna get into this too. So uh, today uh, I weighed in at 267.4. So that is a total of down five and a half pounds. So I have 94 and a half pounds to go. Um, I remember saying last video, my first, like kind of, my first goal, my first mini goal is to get down to 260.9, which is exciting, you know, we'll go from there. Um, but I am just realizing how quickly it's happening and how doable it is. And it is so nice that my cravings are starting to go away and everything. Um, so anyway, weighing in every five days for me is very helpful. Uh, so it's totally taking out that mentality of like weigh in Wednesday. Oh, I can't do it. I'm weighing in tomorrow and all that. And then also on the flip side of that, of I can't because I'm weighing in tomorrow. On the flip side, it's, oh, well, I have a whole week until I weigh in again. I'm going to go ahead and do this and then go off of my goals and my plan, you know? So this five day weigh in is helping so much. So if you are struggling with getting into that diet mentality and weigh in Wednesday mentality and it's starting to just, you're, you're noticing that you are uh, talking yourself into different things or, or whatever uh, due to the weigh in day, I just suggest weighing yourself every five days because you are completely taking that out of the equation. So take it if you leave it, it's definitely helping me and I'm loving it. Um, so um, I'm down five and a half pounds in 10 days. Um, keep in mind, I did not start uh, going full on keto until I think it was day three um, of when I officially started the question of, can I transform my life in a year? Can this actually happen? Can I focus on rising this tide uh, so that it raises all the boats in my life. So um, anyway, I have been hardcore keto for about seven days. So I'm down five and a half pounds in seven days. So we've got that. I also did my inches, which it's really nothing to write home about. So moving forward, my plan is to weigh every five days and then every 10th day, every other weigh in, I'm going to do measurements. So it's not once a month where it seems like, again, it seems like it's far away. Um, so you don't have to worry about it, but um, you're not measuring every week, which I feel like is too much. So I'm going to be measuring every other week and checking in and sharing my progress with that. So this week um, I started on, uh, on day five, I did my initial measurements because I, 
I just didn't think to measure. And so I thought if I first weigh in, I measured. So this is a good enough starting point, right? And then now I've weighed again and measured again today. And then starting um, in these next videos, I will be only measuring every other video. So I lost one and a half inches uh, since my last measurement. So in five days, um, again, is that statistically significant? You know, I didn't run the numbers and I'm not going to, um, but hey, you know, it could be error in measuring and everything. So I really may not have had a change, but again, I think measuring is so important and having more non-scale um, units of measure are just so important um, because then you get to have uh, like if your clothes start fitting better and you're seeing progress in other areas, it's gonna keep you on the track. So that's what's going on with that. Um, eating wise, I have just really been basically naturally going into an intermittent fasting for me um, as I've been going deeper and deeper into ketosis. Uh, I, I am wearing a continuous glucose monitor and my sugars are running anywhere from like gosh, 65 up to 85 during the day. Um, and the 85 goes up after I am, I'm done eating. And then um, when I wake up in the morning, they get to be 100 um, because that obviously your cortisol's increasing and they're, you're doing the wake up hormones and all of that fun stuff. So it's to be expected. So I'm right on track there and I am excited about that. Um, I haven't checked my ketones um, or anything like that. In the last couple days, I have been just focusing on getting in a routine and recognizing like legitimate signs of hunger versus cravings, all of that fun stuff that it takes. Um, so I am, um, I'm gonna just kind of leave it at there, leave it at this today so um, you guys can get on with your day, but let me know how you are doing and what you are doing, what your weight loss goals are so that we can support each other. Um, please like, subscri subscribe, comment, um, and this next week you're gonna be getting the full day of eating over the weekend. Um, I have a party that I'm going to, a graduation party we're going to this weekend, so um, stay tuned. I'm gonna share with you how I'm gonna navigate that and what I'm gonna do to um, maintain my goals and keep going um, and go from there. So uh, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned. I can't wait to come along with you. Bye now.